boy, oh boy. Can you believe it? Actual real life lion taming. I know, right? I can see it now. Vinny the Invincible will demonstrate a valiant act of danger, bravery, and large feline creatures. Next visit, I expect a much better report than what I received today. Thousands of people will be waiting to see the world's best three ring circus. We will not disappoint them. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Oh, and there's one more thing for that list of yours. Please make sure somebody takes care of all this trash. This is inexcusable. <sighs> Organized prop wagon, technical rehearsal, grandstand safety check, move the elephant pens, hire assistant. Exactly how am I supposed to have this all done in time for opening night? <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I did not see you standing there. I am Nora Henderson. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jojo, and this here is Vinny. We oh, are... thank God you are finally here. We are in dire need of some custodians. I mean, as much fun as the clowns are, they really do make quite the mess. I mean, look at all this trash. It looks like a landfill. Well, actually... I'm so sorry, but I have a rehearsal in the Big Top starting in 10 minutes. For today, you can just work at picking up all this trash. Believe me, there's a lot of it. Come on, I'll show you your supplies and you can get started right away. Seventy-two pieces of trash on the floor. Seventy-two pieces of trash. Pick one up, throw it away. Seventy-one pieces of trash on the floor. Seventy-one pieces of trash on the floor. Seventy-one pieces of trash. Pick one up, throw it away. Seventy-one pieces of trash on the floor. I don't know about you, but I am sick of picking up trash. This has got to be the most miserable, mindless, mundane job ever invented. Man, I can't believe we're trash collectors. It sure don't feel like my dreams are coming true. I know. Like, how do we always get roped into doing the dirty work? It's ridiculous. Wow. You boys have been working hard. My goodness, Vincent. Is everything all right? You seem to be a bit disturbed. Disturbed? You could say I'm a bit disturbed. I did not apply for the tr uh, job of... Picking up trash, I signed up to be a lion tamer. I am Vincent D. Venderson. I am vivid, vivacious, and viable, and my talents are being wasted on garbage. In page 11 of my resume, I went into great detail of how I trained a fierce feline to drink from a cute, daisy-shaped dish, and I am well experienced at training cantankerous kittens. I want to train lions. You do realize that lions are much different than kittens, right? I mean, a lion's roar can be heard up to five miles away. I think your kittens would have a hard time beating that. Besides, we already have a lion tamer. We need some custodians to keep things nice and clean. It wouldn't do to have the World's Wonder Festival covered with trash. Keep up the good work, boys. It's looking much better around here. Custodians from Estodian. If she thinks I'm going to pick up trash for the rest of my life, she's got another thing coming. Hey, that's it. I can't be a lion tamer. I don't want to be a garbage can for the rest of my life. I know exactly what this Wonder World Festival needs. I'll show them what Vincent D. Venderson can do.
Well, I must say, Miss Henderson, I am very impressed with everything you've got done in the last 24 hours. This is starting to look like the Wonder World Festival that the public expects. Why, thank you, sir. We certainly have been working hard to get everything done before a big opening night. <laughs> now, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but I have a couple more things for that list of yours. So get your pen out. Uh, the cotton candy machine, we're having some trouble with that. And the lighting up here in the big top has been a little shaky. Uh, so if you could have somebody look at those things, remember, this has got to be perfect for the public. My goodness, I don't know how we're going to get this all accomplished. We're having a lot of problems popping up. Problems or no problems, the show must go on. You know, when I find myself in the middle of things like this, it reminds me of the time that Jesus' disciples were caught in the middle of a big storm. And Jesus calmed the storm just by speaking. He has extraordinary power. His whisper is stronger than the storm. I sure could use his peace this week. Yes, well, uh, that's great, but I've got to get going. But I'll be back. Of that, I am sure, sir. Oh, my. Where do I start? I'm going to be rich and famous. <laughs> I can see it now. Vincent D. Venderson's Perfectly Pop Popcorn, now available at Wonder World's Greatest Festival. All right. Let's see what we got. Fifty cents ought to be good. <sighs> All right. One, two, three, four. Get out of here! Those clowns, always clowning around. Her heart's thumping. Wow. One, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Eleven? Twelve? Thirteen. Fourteen? Fifteen? Sixteen? Seventeen? Eighteen? Vincent D. Venderson. Oh, yeah! We got popcorn! <laughs> Where have you exactly been? I've been picking up trash and sweeping up floors, and those bathrooms I clean. Phew wee. Hey, how's it going? How would you like to be the first customer of Vincent D. Venderson's perfectly pop popcorn? 
50 cents and you get a perfectly pot piece of popcorn. What do you say? What do I say? All day long, I have been working. You told me I'd be training lions. But instead, I've been picking up trash and cleaning bathrooms. And instead of helping me, you're popping popcorn. Do you think I want to pay 50 cents for one piece of popcorn? What, are you saying I'm charging too much? <laughs> Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. Most people sell popcorn by the bag full. Like, a whole bag for one dollar. Really? Are you sure about that? Because it's taken me like, like five, ten monotonous minutes to pop these ten pieces of popcorn. How am I supposed to make any money if I have to pop a whole bag full at a time? Well, I never watched... Well, one time, one time, way back, I watched a man at the fair pop it, and I'm pretty sure he popped a whole lot more than 10 pieces of popcorn at one time, and he used what you might call a popcorn machine, like a big one. Really? Well, that would sure speed things up. Thanks, Jojo. I wonder where I could get a popcorn machine. Hey, where do you think you're going? You're supposed to be helping me. And what about this mess? Vincent D. Vinderson, where in the world are you? We were hired as custodians. We are supposed to be picking up trash. We are supposed to be cleaning up bathrooms. I sure don't see a we around here. Just a little Jojo picking up trash all by myself. Wait a minute. What is this? Huh. That's it. I could be a tightrope walker. Yeah. That'd really get people's attention. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Miss Henderson probably wouldn't like the idea, but she never said not to do it. Maybe that's one of the things on that long list of hers that she hasn't time to teach me yet. You know, I'd be just helping her if I just teach myself. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> oh, here we go. Wait a minute, that's it. I could do this blindfolded. <laughs> that would really get people's attention. I bet there isn't anyone in the whole entire world that can walk across the tight blow blindfolded. Yeah, I just need a blindfold. blindfold. That's what we call it. Aha, here we go.
Jojo. Is everything okay, Jojo? You look uh, a bit flustered. Me? I look flustered? No, why would I look flustered? I mean, all I do around here is pick up trash. Well, yes, I know you pick up trash. And I don't know why you would look flustered either, but uh, anyways, enough of that. I wanted to tell you how thankful I am to have you here helping us. I know I've been really busy getting ready for opening night, and I haven't had a whole lot of time to help you guys out. It's so nice to know that I can depend on you and Vinny to keep this place in tip-top shape. Wait a minute. Where is Vinny? And are you sure you're okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I have no idea where Vinny is. I haven't seen him all day. Maybe you should go find him. Hmm, well that's strange. He was so excited about his new job too. Guess I'll have to figure out where he's at. You know, sometimes I think I need twice as many hours in my days just to get everything done. Oh, while I'm at it, the back bathrooms need a good cleaning. More bathrooms, and all I want to do is be a lion trainer. Jojo. In the book of Luke, Jesus said, one who is faithful in very little is also faithful in much, and one who is dishonest in very little is also dishonest in much. So being faithful in the little things will give you the experience you need to succeed in big things. Yeah, right. No, God has a plan for your life, Jojo. Right now, it might not look glamorous and exciting, but only God knows what you'll do. Hmm, I guess I'll just go clean those bathrooms. Mm -hmm. What a day, what a day. I guess I couldn't find a popcorn machine, so I'm gonna have to use my brains to figure out a solution for this peculiar predicament that I'm finding myself in right now. Jojo said that he saw a man popping more than 10 pieces at a time. And if I'm gonna have to pop that much, dude, I'm gonna have to pop like crazy. Well, I guess, here goes. Yep. Well, that's the other thing. I also should probably charge more, too. There we go. Now Miss Anderson's going to be happy. <laughs> Can't wait till she sees. You know, I think I need more oil. Where is that? Oh, there we go. bags. I almost forgot. Where is those things? There you are. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. We got popcorn. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Oh boy! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Slow down! You're stopping me in a minute! What's happening? It's not a popcorn monster, it's a popcorn machine!
Get out of here. <sighs> Jojo! Jojo, I need some help. Help? You need some help? Miss Henderson hired two custodians, but for some reason, I seem to be doing all the work around here. I picked up the trash. I swept up the peanut shells. And I, whoa, I'll say you need some help. What did you do? <sighs> well, I was popping popcorn just like you said, and it turned into a disaster. This popcorn machine started spewing everywhere, and now there's a huge mess, and I gotta get cleaned up before Miss Henderson gets back. <clears throat> Sheesh, I'll say. She's not gonna be happy with you. You know, just the other day, she was saying something how important it is to do the little things in life, or something like that. Maybe you should stick with what you're supposed to do. Uh-oh, they... Huh? Oh, who's coming? <laughs> Miss Henderson! Miss Henderson? I'll be right there, sir. Well, make it snappy, young woman. I'm in a hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on here? Oh, no. Not the popcorn machine. First the cotton candy, now the popcorn. Oh, man, when it rains, it pours. Miss Henderson! Yes, sir, what can I? Oh, my goodness. Why aren't you boys cleaning the bathrooms? And where did all this popcorn come from? Well, uh, you see, I was trying to pop a lot of popcorn, and I guess it just... Didn't go very good. Really? And why were you popping popcorn? Well, you see, I really wanted to be a lion tamer, but that wasn't happening, so I thought, well, maybe I can get some snacks for this awesome festival instead. I guess that didn't go very well. But, Vinny, we already have someone to make popcorn. We need custodians. It wouldn't do to have a big operation like this and not have some custodians. We need someone to clean and organize and sweep. That's why we hired you two. So, I'm in a hurry. Of course, sir, when are you not in a hurry? I got a phone call. Hello? You know, boys, God has a specific plan for your lives. He has given us the Bible with a set of instructions to follow, just like I gave you instructions to follow when I hired you. So, you're saying I have to clean bathrooms for the rest of my life? Oh. Don't say that. I do not like the sound of that. No, that's not what I mean. Right now, your job is cleaning bathrooms, but only God knows what you'll do in the future. Who knows? Maybe one day you will be lion tamers. <laughs> now, that's what I'm talking about. It oh! 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 Vinny, Jojo, go get the medics. Uh, I'll go get some ice. Oh. Oh. My knees, my right knee. Oh! 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 What are you guys doing? I need some help here. Good grief. No! Oh! Oh, no, no, I'm all right. I'm just fine. good feeling. Everything is ready. Animals are ready to go. The lights have been fixed. The cotton candy machine is working. And all that trash has been picked up. Hey boys, can you believe it? 
Everything on my list is checked off. We actually did it. Wonder World Festival is ready for the show of a lifetime. That's fantastic, Miss Henderson. I can't wait to see those lovely legendary lions and those tightrope walkers. Such poise and talent. <laughs> How about you, Jojo? What do you want to see? Oh, I don't know. And I really, really want to get even with those clowns. They have caused my heart rate to accelerate. Wait, and I should probably taste the popcorn just to make sure it's perfectly popped, you know. Speaking of clowns, do either of you know anything about their jump rope? That's what the director tripped on last night, but the clowns are shorty. You mean those old clowns talk to you? They haven't said a word to me all week long, and I've certainly tried talking to them. Oh, the next time I see them, I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. <sighs> oh, Vinny, just calm down a bit. Clowns aren't supposed to talk, and they're not hired to do the custodian's job either. They're hired for a completely different reason. Now back to what I was saying. Do either of you know anything about where that rope came from? No, ma'am, I do not. But you know what? I think I should be a clown instead of a lion tamer. The sensational, the invincible, Vincent D. Venderson. Oh boy, will he never learn? How about you, Jojo? Has that rope had anything to do with how you've been feeling these last few days? Well, I just feel really bad what happened to the director. I wouldn't have done it if I'd known he'd gotten hurt. I... I just... Wait a minute. Wouldn't have done what? Well, yesterday when Vinny was popping the popcorn, I got pretty bored. I found the rope, and I thought I could maybe practice walking on a tightrope, but I wouldn't have done it if, he got, if I'd known he got hurt. Honest. I see. Things are starting to make sense. Jojo... Life is full of choices, and whether we want them to or not, the choices we make affect the people around us. Yeah, I know that now. And you know, the most important choice we can make is to believe and trust in Jesus. He is the answer to all of our problems. Really? How so? Remember when I told you about how God has a plan for your life? Well, when God created the world, it was planned perfectly. Unfortunately, Adam and Eve chose to disobey the instructions they were given. And because of their sin, they were banished from the beautiful garden. Even worse, their sin separated them from God. So is that why I feel guilty when I disobey? Absolutely. Sin pulls us away from God. But thankfully, that's not the end of the story. Before they left the garden, God promised that, they that he would send a savior to take the punishment for the wrong things we do. Jesus has provided everything we need to have a relationship with God. He is the answer to all of our problems. Hmm. You give me a lot to think about, Miss Henderson. I think I should go probably find that Mr. Director guy and apologize. It was pretty irresponsible of me to do that. I'm a clown! I'm a clown! <laughs> <laughs>